Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right over here. I posted this look on Instagram probably about a week ago and you guys went insane for it. I got so many comments telling me that you guys want to see a tutorial on the look. So of course, you ask, you shall receive, and I recreated the look for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I think this is probably my all-time favorite look that I've ever done, so I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. It's basically a matte gray blue smoky eye with a pop of like a peachy gold right in the center of the eye. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get right into it. All right guys, so let's begin. Now I already have my foundation applied because I am currently doing a first impression on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So let's move on straight to the eyes. Now I'm first gonna take my MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot and on a Zoeva, this is the Face Shape 110 brush. I'm going to apply this all over my lid as my base. So just to quickly set the whole entire lid, I'm gonna be taking Soft Peach from Anastasia and I'm going to be applying that all over my lid all the way up to my brow bone. Then you wanna take a little bit more of that color on a fluffy brush and you just wanna apply that right above your crease. And this is going to be one of the transition shades. So now I'm gonna take Fawn from Anastasia. This is just like a neutral matte brown. And on a more precise fluffy brush, I'm going to apply that right above my crease again, like right underneath Soft Peach. So this is going to be our second transition shade. It's really important for this look to be really nice and blended, which is why we're using so many colors in this look. You're gonna see there's quite a bit of eyeshadows, but it really um, adds to like the overall effect to the look. So just applying that with a fluffy brush right above the crease in like circular motions to keep it nice and blended and buffed out. And then going in with my fluffy brush and just going along that to make sure that all the edges are smooth. So now I'm gonna go into Caramel, which is a very warm brown, and it is matte as well. And on a more precise blending brush, this is the Zoeva 227, I'm going to apply this directly into my crease. So now we're going to go into the star of the show, which is of course the Melt Stack. This is the Love Six Stack, and it has really, really, really pretty colors in here. It has like a really pretty peach color, this amazing blue, a purple, and a red. So the first color that we're gonna take from the stack is Fixated. This is the most amazing gray-based blue, and it is matte. Now we're going to be applying this on a flat brush on the outer corner of the eye, as well as on the inner corner of the eye, and then we're sort of gonna connect the two sides, almost making like a bridge, and then we're going to put this color, which is called um, Emily, Emily, uh, Emily? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's this really pretty like peachy gold shade right in the center of the eye, which is going to create that really gorgeous like spotlight smoky eye. The first thing that I'm going to be taking is my MAC 242 brush, and now I'm going to start to pack that right on the outer corner of the eye. You can see how pigmented it is, as well as on the inner corner of the eye. Now we're gonna have to keep on going back and forth um, blending as well and then applying blending and then applying because we are going to lose the intensity once we do start blending Then you want to take a very precise blending brush This is the MAC 221 and you want to take the same blue color and you want to almost connect the two sides by going into the crease very, very lightly. And this will also help blend everything and make it look a little bit more seamless. This is Hot Chocolate from Anastasia. This is another matte shade. It's a really, really rich, warm, deep brown. And I'm going to take that on a blending brush. This is the same Zoeva brush, and I'm going to start to buff that into the actual crease. I just want this color to be used to create depth into the look. So I'm using a very small amount at a time, and I'm adding a little bit and then a little bit, and then a little bit, so that it doesn't apply too much, and the blend will be easier to like smooth out. I'm also taking a little bit of hot chocolate right on the outer corner of my eye. Remember to always go in with your fluffy brush, and just blend along those edges to make sure everything is seamless. And then I'm just going to continue to apply the hot chocolate color until I like how intense the crease is. And I want the crease to be pretty dark. And these really, really rich and warm brown colors complement the blue so beautifully. And it just looks so good together. So I'm gonna go in again with some of the blue and I'm just gonna touch that up since we definitely lost some of the intensity there while we were blending. And I'm sort of making that bridge again just a little bit. So now you wanna take any black shade. I'm actually just gonna take the shade from the Makeup Forever palette that I'm holding as my mirror just because it's right here. But really any black shade will do. You wanna take another precise brush. This is the Small Taper Blending E45. And I'm going to start to pat this right on the outer corner of my eye to add a little bit more depth to this look. This is optional, you don't have to do this. I find it just looks really good once you put a little bit of black there, not too much. Just like that is enough. All right, so now it's time for my favorite part of the look. I'm gonna be taking this gorgeous peachy gold shade. So I'm taking the clean side of my brush and I'm just going to really dig my brush into the shadow and pick up a lot of product. And I'm going to just 
pat that right in the center of my lid. This color is a little bit hard to like blend into the blue and make it look seamless because they are not like similar whatsoever. So you just want to feather the edges to make it look like it's slowly fading to the color and it's not just like BAM! color in the center of your eye. All right, so now that we have that done, I'm going to quickly apply some concealer so that we can work on the lower lash line. So I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just applying that underneath my eyes. So then I'm just gonna blend that out with my foundation brush. To set my under eyes, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Powder and I'm taking the yellow side and I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes. Okay, so now let's quickly finish off the eyes before moving on to the rest of the face. So I'm going to take caramel on a pointed fluffy brush and I'm just going to sweep that underneath my lower lash line. This is going to be like the base of the lower lash line basically. So now I'm going to take a really dark brown eyeliner. This is the Stila Damsel Smudge Stick and I'm just going to line my whole entire lash line with that and then we're going to blend it out. So I'm going to be creating a wing today. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner to create it. So, But I'm only going to be going halfway. I'm not bringing the eyeliner right to the inner corner of my eye. So now I'm just gonna go off camera and apply my lashes and do my brows and then I will be right back to finish off the rest of the face. So this is what the eyes look like once I apply my lashes. For my lashes, I used my Lena lashes in the style Linda. These are really pretty because they are flared out right on the outer corner so it really accentuates that like hole that we're looking for. So to finish off the rest of the face, I'm going to be taking my Luminous Light Bronzer from Hourglass and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my face a little bit before I contour. And then for my contour, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D shade, oh, okay, <sighs> powder everywhere everybody, Kat Von D shade light palette. I'm going to be taking the middle shade and I'm going to use that to contour my cheekbones. Very lightly, I just want a little bit of like definition there. So to highlight my brow bone as well as my inner corner and my cheekbones and basically my whole entire face, I'm going to be taking Champagne Pop from Becca and just on a small little brush, I'm just going to highlight first my inner corners. And because this has like a peachy undertone, it really complements the peach color that we have in the center of the lid. For my blush, I'm going to take Baby Love from Too Faced. This is like the most perfect nude blush. I've been obsessed with this. I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so to highlight my cheekbones, again, taking Champagne Pop and really loading that up. I'm not going to be shy with this. Also putting that on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Like, yeah, putting some more on my cheekbones just because. Holy shit. Look at that, guys. Oh. To set my face, I'm taking some MAC Fix Plus. Okay, so now for the lips, you could obviously just apply like a nude lipstick and it would be beautiful, but in the photo, I actually did something a little bit different. I lined my lips with a lip liner, I put some lip gloss on, and then I put some of the Amelie, oh my god, I still don't know how to say that, but that like peachy golden shade right in the center of my lips, and it was subtle, but it really added such a beautiful dimension to the lips, and so I will be doing that today so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm first going to line my lips with MAC Boldly Bare. And I'm also going to fill them in with this color. So you could even leave it at that. I think this looks really good with the eyes, but of course, I got to take it a step further. So next, I'm going to take Candy Kiss Lip Gloss from Gerard Cosmetics. This is a really pretty, like, pinky, peachy nude. And because we are putting a gloss, it's also going to help adhere the eyeshadow to the lips. Okay, so now I'm going to take the eyeshadow, and on my finger, I'm just going to start pressing that, basically only on the center part of my lid, not on my whole entire lip. You can see it just adds like the smallest hint of like a golden sheen. I really hope the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but it just looks so pretty and it really ties the whole entire look together because you have like a color in the center of your lips and then in the center of your eyes, it looks really good. So that is it for the finished tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments down below and do not forget to follow me on Instagram so that you can be kept up to date with all the new Instagram only looks that I post on there and that way you can let me know if you want to see them on YouTube, if you want to see me do a tutorial on them. So of course, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys. Now this haul is going to be very exciting because I have tried, I would say, probably every single product that is in this haul. So I'm going